Good evening. Think of any fast-paced shooter in the recent years. What does almost every single one have in common? Yeah, other than being an extremely fun power trip, most of this genre has a single universal thing that unifies them. A sympathetic protagonist tearing through hordes of enemies like hot butter for a righteous cause. And rightfully so. However fun mindless running and gunning may be, a proper main character and their motives are necessary to flesh out a believable story. Be it saving several planets from Armageddon, fending off an invasion of hell, or avenging your family that were murdered by a cult. These stories ultimately give every enemy you blow to Gibbs a kind of purpose, be it absurd or not. However, one shooter caught my attention for doing something very different from what was established by these titles. Why is this so fucking loud? At least for the prelude, Ultra Kill isn't much different from other movement shooters. You get accustomed to both parts of its genre's name, some unique game mechanics that honestly deserve a video of their own, and pretty much finish the levels one after the other. Even some vague exposition is given as to why we're here in three beautiful lines. You are a robot called V1, that feeds off blood to repair yourself, and on your way to hell to, well, collect more fuel. As you rip and tear your way through the layers of hell, which are, yes, directly inspired by Dante's Inferno, in your little power fantasy, we suddenly meet someone who completely flips everything we know about V1 and the whole story upside down. Machine, turn back now. Before I introduce this character, I think some actual lore is due. You are, as we know, V1, a prototype war machine that was, like its many predecessors, made to run off of and heal itself using blood. After humanity's mysterious extinction, hell is left full of souls manifested into fleshy, fuel-filled husks, and humanity's machines, including V1, dive down into the depths of hell to sustain themselves with well-known directives. Mankind is dead, blood is fuel, and hell is full. This is where Gabriel, the judge of hell, comes in. He, as the righteous hand of the father, is sent to lay waste to the hordes of steel invading the underworld. And as V1 possesses the infamous plot armor, we defeat Gabriel with relative ease. I'd say this is a pivotal point in the story and kind of puts our very position as protagonist of Ultra Kill under question. Gabriel's loss to V1 is a huge humiliation in front of the Council, so much so that it leads to his divine link to be severed, causing him to strive to right his failure. Fueled by innate rage, Gabriel confronts us in the second act, spewing insults and damnations at V1. But what do we know, he gets dunked on once again. Our second victory over Gabriel grants him a vision of free will, causing him to massacre the Council with his newfound purpose. And I think the fact that we are a machine makes Gabriel's development so much more effective and genuine. V1 does not have the capacity to understand or empathize with Gabriel in any way or his story at all. And everything he says is effectively just thinking out loud. The only thing we understand is that Gabriel is simply another target. Let's remember, V1 was made to be an unstoppable machine since it was controlled by the player. Unlike Gabriel, we are not fueled by an inner motive, righteous cause, or any other bullshit reason. V1 is here to kill to survive, led only by the instincts of self-preservation and our sharpened combat abilities. We are more of a plot device, no different from other machines in the game. A force of nature sweeping through hell, wiping anything in its path to fuel itself for another hour. Despite everything, the plot, as well as the character development and emotions, are felt exclusively by Gabriel. Despite us being the main character, Gabriel is the protagonist, the main personality in a plot in which we are a ruthless axiom. We're simply an object in his story. This establishes a very dreadful and rather tragic theme to Ulderkill's plot, as we know that Gabriel will inevitably face his demise to the cruelly indifferent creature of steel that we play as. All in all, atop of being an astoundingly unique game in terms of mechanics and gameplay, Ultra Kill's storytelling is like nothing I've ever seen before. With the concluding act being released sometime in the future, I'd love to see what the writers do with this incredible plot concept to round up Gabriel's story, as well as V1's. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Peace.